Alright, so another day and another tutorial. This time we're going to be deploying the Lucky Numbers DXE. I do have this one opened up for reference and I do have these file uh, folders opened up um, because we're going to be doing some navigating through directories. So I'm going to go ahead and build Lucky Numbers from scratch. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Let's see, what can I do? So new item is the first thing I'm going to do. Click, click ahead and click the UI. We're going to want to use uh, a Windows form, click my form. Add that to the program. And um, then we're going to want to go to the view code. And we're going to want the CPP. So, CPP will just tap to just hang around there, I guess. Pin these. Pin, pin. Good. And I'd rather you over there. And I'll go ahead and copy and paste some code. So, going to here, I'll go ahead and just uh, copy all this because we don't need to review what we've already done before. Let me move my mic over. Okay, so it's a little more direct. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, paste you in so we don't have to deal with all that work. Now, in sub namespace lucky numbers, it's more so deploying. In the program. Cool, cool. And there's the design. I'm going to choose the image. Let me get my pictures. Make it to my. Uh, is that downloaded pictures? run it okay so we're gonna have to do a little bit of copy and pasting here the CPP needs to change so go ahead and copy and paste No, we're gonna have to change the naming scheme. Okay. Let's see what happens if we run it. Okay. Go to properties. Go to the linker. System. Windows. And advanced type in a main apply okay run boom shaka laka it runs now if I go to the directory to find the program Let's see if we got an exe file. We do. And uh, if we uh, run it, it works. Now, let's see if we uh, move it away from its comfort zone. See if it still deploys. Let's move to junk. It works. Let's 
So that pretty that effectively um, makes it work as a, a as a exe file by doing what I just did. Um, and if I were to run that again, I think it will regenerate an exe file if I'm not mistaken. It does regenerate another one right here because it's 10:52 p.m. So. Another thing some people do is release instead of what I'm doing, and then this can get an exe file to work. But I don't need to. I can just do debug and it'll work just fine in my case. And yeah, I mean, it's. You can just run it, and it works. You can upload it through your uh, Google Drive. You could uh, uh, mail it to somebody if your email allows for it. In the case of Gmail, they don't allow uh, .exe files, but uh, you can upload it to uh, Google Drive and it'll run just fine, or Dropbox or whatever you want to use to host your downloads. So yeah, I guess that's how you deploy a program. You just gotta go to the debug directory in my case, and you'll have the .exe file, and then you can uh, share your executable files. Yep.